This video is going to be about the ships that are coming out in 2024, what we might even be able to expect. Don't take this literally. The ships that I've guessed about, you know, it could be something that I want it to come out, but again, it would seem reasonable for them to come out, and I know a lot of yous would want these to come out as well. But we're also going to go through the list that um, they gave us at CitizenCon 2953, the ships that they sort of, sort of went through, um, like when they do their list every year. Now, this they said was 12 months from CitizenCon, or in the next 12 months, so I would say that would be from CitizenCon, and again, you know, it's something that I find really interesting. I'm just putting this out there because it's something that I like to do at the beginning of the year and throughout the year because it's just something that gives us fuel for thought and sort of processes our minds and our thoughts about what's going to happen. So let us know down in the comments what you all think about this. I honestly do read your comments. I don't always get back to them, but I do try my best. So, going into this, as you can see through this whole triage of ships and vehicles that they'd given us, we have a few there. And at the beginning, we have some sort of a hover bike that I thought was the Ranger, which isn't the Ranger in any way, shape or form, I would think, anyway. So, you know, the first kind of looked like the Ranger, but it seems like it's a hover bike. Again, this seems like it may be something on the cheaper side, so maybe it would be a perfect fit as an LTI token. Pick up it like pick it up when it eventually releases um, I don't always you know I'm not always pushing ships I'm not pushing vehicles people sometimes accuse me and others of pushing ships we're giving people the relative information they need to go and buy that ship they're gonna go and buy it anyway they're just wanting to know a little bit more about it they just want to have that little bit more information to pull the trigger so don't go and accuse people of pushing others to buy ships everyone's you know perfectly capable of making up their own mind so Moving on, we had the X1. So the X1 obviously has released in 3.22. So that's something that we can just cross off the list for now. Moving on, there was an Ursa Rover variant from the looks of it. I would say possibly medical. I, I don't know. Let us know what you think about this. We'll have to see how this goes, whether or not there'll be any leaks relating to this over the coming months or over the next year or so. There's probably going to be a lot of leaks, so stay on the lookout for them. Uh, another one, MPUV variant. Could this be a cargo variant, which we already have, or could it be something like used for base building? I don't know. It just seems weird that they would release another one of those. Could it be something that's easier to load cargo onto a hull series, being that, you know, manual cargo loading is coming and that would possibly make our lives easier. So moving forward, could this possibly be the RSI Galaxy? Maybe the Zeus. And again, you know, I'm not going to say that these are what it is. These could be coming out a little bit sooner. Maybe they could release that Invictus. But as many, there could be delays. And, you know, they have been on top of things lately. So, we just have to see what happens. And again, um, I don't know if it's the Galaxy or the Zeus. It did look like the Galaxy. But, again, I could very well be wrong. So, moving on to this next ship. Obviously, this is a Mirai ship. This is a leak that I had found out. So, if you don't want to see this one, skip over it. Um, so as leaks had told us, this um, is a heavy fighter, the Mirai heavy fighter. I would give this about three or four months. It could be less, it could be more, it could be straight to flyable, it could be a concept ship, it could be delayed for other ships, items, whatnot. But again, it's something that I would look forward to and, you know, would think that it wouldn't take that long for them to get this one out the door of any sorts. So the next one, Anvil Legionnaire. This one's easy. So something that will be interesting to see release, whether or not it will come with its intended functionality, when it might release, you know, maybe release alongside or with the Polaris, before the Polaris, maybe when they are ready for Squadron 42 um, and they release the Idris, seeing that, you know, this is a ship that is for breaching and sort of taking over a ship as, you know, we may need the bigger ships to do this. Unless, you know, it hopefully releases with its intended functionality, it might not. We'll just have to see what they uh, what they do with this one. Moving on, the RSI Perseus maybe? I don't know, but again, it looks like the ramp could be positioned differently. I would just have to say on my thoughts and the looks of it that it's the RSI Perseus just from the landing gear as well. I don't know. It could be a new RSI ship. It could be a different RSI ship. I had mentioned I'm not going to say like, you know, I'm right. I'm just saying these are guesses on the best information that I can have and sort of make up from what I can see. 
So moving on, the Retaliator base. So we already have the Retaliator with Bomber. This is a Retaliator base without modules, so you can equip the modules that are available for this ship. So maybe modularity could come alongside this, but you know, I won't really remain hopeful for this on that front. I would just sort of give it a little bit of time, see what they progress they make through the year, see what information they give us, see what leaks are coming out, because that would be something of interest to us. The RSI Polaris, um, you know, I would say that this would be the last of the release. I would also say, you know, it would be good to have it in Victus and make it the star of the show, but that could be very unlikely. This one, you know, we'll just have to play by ear. Other than these ships that we've seen and vehicles, we could see movement on a lot of ships like the Raylan maybe because they want to put, you know, more of an alien presence into uh, the PU and the Verse. Again, that would be very interesting to see if they add other concept alien ships or straight flyable alien ships. Moving on, Anvil Liberator maybe. You know, I would stay. I would like to stay hopeful about this ship, but then again, you know, they haven't really spoken about it much. Um, you know, I'd like to see it come in time for Pyro, as a lot of other people be would, and you know, it would be a major money maker, uh, also like a major form of transport of, for people who possibly couldn't get over to Pyro. And again. Um, maybe a few cheap starter ships or vehicles um, for LTI tokens. You know, they always drive sales, and CIG knows this. People know they know that people want these ships for that specific reason. So we'll see what happens with a lot of these ships. You know, I'm saying that a lot, but it's just it's hard to play this sometimes because you know they will release ships and they'll give us uh, information on a ship. They'll work on a ship and then they'll just pull it. They'll just they won't work on it anymore. Um, I think a lot of us would love to hear something about the Nautilus, but I feel like that would be very unlikely as it hasn't had any mention on it since its initial concept, which is unfortunate. The Apollo would also be another good ship, which we do know they were working on that. They sort of did pull it, but again, they I think John Crew did say they were sort of working on it as well. So that would be a really good one. I would love to see the drone gameplay come out for a lot of these ships, especially the Apollo being that... You could remotely go and pick someone up and then bring him to the ship without having to put yourself or your crew members in danger. Um, you know, since we'll be getting base building throughout the year, um, we could also see something, you know, going straight to flyable. Maybe one of the base building ships coming out. Um, you know, we only have, what, the Pioneer really, so we need something that's a bit smaller and a bit more maneuverable. Um, maybe a ground vehicle for base building as well to undertake this task. But again, I would, well, I don't know if I'd see that being as likely as what I would like it to be or what a lot of us would be but again be interesting it'd be cool to see something like a 3d printer which I think the pioneer would be sort of like that you know there's a lot of other ships maybe like the hull series like the hull D I would think a lot of us would like to see this and see what happens with this if there's any movement over the next year again being that you know we're working towards these massive freighting ships these massive haulers the hull D would be a perfect fit for this Again, and then the Banu Merchantman, hopefully that's getting worked on throughout the year. Um, so, you know, there's many other ships that I could see coming out and, you know, having work done that haven't been mentioned in a while. But it's not worth going through this whole list when it's probably better to have a more realistic, realistic outlook on this topic and not really get too stuck into the hope side of this where a lot of these ships could be coming from. So being realistic for myself is better in this situation. Let us know what you all think and what you think may come, what we may expect um, in terms of ships, vehicles, and possibly leaks that we may see down the road. So let us know what you all think about this. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, leave a dislike, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.